Hi everyone, we hope you'll join us for this vlog today where you'll see that we cruise over six miles working through six lift bridges and spending about four hours out on the water as well as stopping for some sightseeing along the way. Yeah, and we interestingly go down the Prees branch. We thought we'd take a little bit of a detour. It's only half a mile. And while we were there, we thought we might as well at least go and have a look at the nature trail and see the end of that little canal. And uh, that was very interesting, saw sort of all manner of bird life. So, join us on this vlog. She's Ali. He's Pete. This, this is Ziga. And this is Narrowboat Soulmates. More to explore. Well, here we are at Black Oak Bridge, just about to start off and head further up the Langothan Canal. Where would you like to get to today, Ali? Trying to get to Bettisfield today, I understand. Well, we'll see, won't we? It's a lovely day. Don't think you can see it because it's so bright. But yeah, Zeke's here at the stern. Are you right, Zeke? Everything okay? You good? Yep. Yeah. The tiller's ready to go. Just got to untie. And we're going to be on our way. There's Bridge 40, looking beautiful in those reflections. Here we go, it's a little bit slow off the side because I think it's a little bit shallow, but let's get over here and we'll be on our way. Yep. On our way now, leaving Black O Bridge on this beautiful winter's day. Sky's blue, only a slight breeze, and we're all on our way. Look at that fine beast up there, what's it called? Isn't it Aberdeen Angus? Longhorn something? Relaxed, lying down. I mean that is fill of grass no doubt. So on today's journey, I don't think there's any locks as far as I'm aware. We're heading up the Langothan, I think this particular section's lock free for about, well, nearly 20 miles. We may even nip down the Priest Branch, which is only about half a mile or so and it's got a marina at the end, just to have a look down there. But, uh, Yes, and here we are, first bridge of the day. That didn't take many minutes, did it? Bridge 41. Well, you can definitely feel how shallow it is along here. Just slightly slower than usual, particularly under the bridge.
Yeah, so there we are. Got the cattle out in the field, all feeding. Look at that sun behind the tree, fantastic. Navigation now, eh? <laughs> They're all looking sheepish. Sun's shining on their back. I'm sure they're enjoying that after rain of recent weeks. to our first lift bridge of the day I think just round past this boat ready Ali So up goes the bridge, but Ali just popped out to take a photo. Just try and hover in the middle of the canal. Sometimes it's a lot easier to say than to do. But I can feel the current just pushing us back slightly. Just put in some slight forward a little bit of forward motion. Hope that'll just hold us. Pending alley getting the bridge up. I think we might have two or three of these today. It's going up and up. As you can see. One under the belt. That's good. All oh, right. First bridge in the morning. Yeah, I suppose it would be a bit tough on the old muscles. Get them moving again. Not that it's that cold, but it is winter. Here are pheasant feeders, so and it looks like there's something a platform over there on the tree, and there's people with fan and shoes on. Well, here we go. I reckon we're gonna go into Wales briefly before we get back into Shropshire or England to Wales to England, depending how you look at it. But yeah, it's uh, just traversing along the border generally I think along here for the moment until we get well and truly into Wales in the next well, I don't know, couple of days or so see that sun to come back out from the clouds yeah and cruising along the Langothan at this time of the year you tend to not see any other boats on the move if they are, they're very rare, so yeah, just so tranquil as you can see. The chug 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 of the engine, the bird song, and that's about it.
there, just checking to make sure our car's alright. We've left it here at Flat Lane Bridge 43. Looks alright. quite open isn't it? I didn't expect it to be this open. So ba basically that's England and that's Wales, yeah? I think so. This road's right next to the canal. Morning. Morning. Beautiful one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it is, you know. Yeah. Just tell the fish the same thing because they're not biting this morning. Oh, okay. <laughs> they're not being very cooperative. Oh. <laughs> and we're disturbing them now, sorry. <laughs> Hey? We're disturbing them now, sorry about that. No, no, you're doing a good job actually. It <laughs> might just liven them up a bit. They've, they've gone to sleep. At least it's a beautiful one, isn't well, it? Well, it, it doesn't matter, does it? We're yeah. out in the back, don't we? Hey? It's a bit quiet, is it? Ah, uh, it's time yeah. of year. It's beautiful here. <laughs> lovely spot and a lovely house. We toot along the canal to the next bridge, which I believe is 44. Remember that's what it said about the tow path being lower? Yeah. yeah, a little bit of an unusual phenomenon here, the way it was built. And because of the subsidence, you can see that the tow path is quite a bit below the actual canal. Well, there's a boat ahead of us, moored up on the right. And just beyond that, you may be able to see the next lift bridge ready and waiting for Ali to get the windlass out and sort it out. Now that's what you call Armco, I'd say to Ali. No chance of slipping away from that, is there? Which you moored up. But of course, it's not on the towpath side. We've got the real armco on this side. Yeah, what's that? 
What's all that? What is it? Why is the water not meant to be there? Very odd. Doesn't actually say on the book. There's bits sticking out here. Right? There's something yeah. sticking out there. Yeah. Here's the next lift bridge that Ali's going to be tackling very shortly. No, this one's not in slow motion. Ali's actually taking her time, I think. Getting the muscles working. There's a lot of turns in this one. Well, I can get off and do it. I'm quite happy to do that. I'm used to, pretty good at winding, usually winding people up rather than winding lift bridges, but you know. Yeah. No camera on this one, no flashing lights, no button to press. Eh? Stepping back in time, as it's always been done. Yep, yeah, there it is, it says... What does it say? Fens, Wixel and Bettersfield Motses National Nature Reserve. Morris's Bridge. See that, Ali? So you can get that. Yeah, so there's the Fens, as you can see. Under the next bridge, and then I think we've got a bit of a turn near a winding hole to go on the priest branch if we're going to be able to do that. I think we'll give it a go today, it's such a lovely day. Bank of cloud coming in. But other than that, beautiful. Yeah, so here we are, coming up to Bridge 46. Bit of debris, branches and whatever in the canal, as you can see. Let's try and tilt we'll past them on the right. And then, turn down the Br Priest branch.
what Ali tells me, it's to the left here, hopefully. Ooh, don't have to duck for that one, luckily. There we are, there's the sign confirming it. Priest Branch. Need a bit of proper left turn here to get round. A lovely property on the junction here. Kettle's on, Ali. So now he's off towards the lift bridge. I'm just going to slow down, hover around. And I think there's two cups of tea down there that need the tea bags taken out. So that's my job. Right. Just hover for a bit. Right, just have to twist round a little bit to straighten up. Yeah, so here comes Pete through the first lift bridge on the Prees branch of the Coingotham Canal. So we can only go half a mile up the Prees branch before it ends at the Wixall Marina. But there is a lovely nature trail, nature reserve, so I think we'll pull up and have some lunch on what has proved to be an absolutely gorgeous morning so far. A lovely scene ahead. We're not far off the end of the Prees branch of the Langothan Canal, where we can get to, I think it's Wixall Marina, do a bit of a turnaround near their entrance, and then head back from where we've come onto the Langothlin, obviously turn left and onwards and upwards towards Langothlin. Well, that won't be for another week, but you know what I mean. We'll be working our way slowly but surely. Yeah, so there we are, bridge number three. We're seeing quite a few walkers very popular spot for doing a bit of a hike I reckon and Wixall Marina 400 yards up the canal from here even if you give it a bit more stick you don't really speed up can you see put a bit more so look down 
less revs, still going the same speed. And that's because it's shallow and there's only so much water you can move. And you're not going to go any faster. I suppose it saves on fuel though. Let's look at the positive side. Well, here we are. Rent some gypsy accommodation, presumably. And stay in it. Have a great view over the countryside. I'll just give you a quick view from the gypsy caravan. Yeah, there we are. Yeah. Presume they've got all mug cons. They've got the electric there plugged in. Picnic table. I do quite like caravans, but. Love boats now. I'm a boaty boy, aren't I? Yeah, so we are turning into Wixel Marina. Just gonna turn round, do the business, hopefully. Go from here. Do a bit of reversing. Jobs are good. So we thought we'd just moor the boat up, turn round, as I said here, at Wixel Marina. I'm going to walk down to the end of this particular branch, the Priest Branch, and have a look at the end. So, off we go. I've all come to see Zieg. He's very popular with swans, aren't you, Zieg? Eh? No, you're not. They normally hiss and spray at you. Look at that with the wings, can you see? Join together, the first front one. Yeah. Like in an arc. Yep. Let's mm -hmm. see. So, yeah, here's where the water continues. As you can see, it's, well, shallow. Can you see it, Ellie? Barely. No, but look, can you see? It's like... Oh, wow. I don't know, a foot deep maybe? That's about it. So there used to be another three miles if you were here. Yeah. Obviously it's just got silted up, yeah. filled in. So to go to a marina, yeah, looks pretty good. Yeah, looks like there's some spaces available. Maybe that's the official end of the canal, even though you couldn't cruise down this last 50 metres at all, could you? Even if you went backwards. Beautiful spot though. And there's a nature reserve, I think, along here. So we can have a look, see what's what. Yes, well, here we are, walking the end of the priest branch of the Langothlin Canal. And, yeah, it's very nice. Wildlife, plenty of birds, that's for sure. We've seen flitting by. I've just seen a, I think it was a sparrow hawk surveying the area. Ziga's surveying the area for squirrels, but he hasn't seen one yet. Yeah, here we go. A little bit muddy here from the rain. Have I mentioned the rain? Oh, yeah, I mentioned it before. Mentioned it before that, and I mentioned it even before that. Oh, yes, here we go. Look, a bridge, but not really any canal. And if we look down there, we can see the moles have been having a field day. Can you see that on that field? Yeah, yeah, I hope you're enjoying this walk along the disused part of the Prees branch of the Langothlin Canal. We certainly are. So we're just looking for the last bridge, I think, on this particular arm. Waterloo. Who? Waterloo, Waterloo Bridge. Mmm. <laughs> Definitely unnavigable. Might be able to get through with a little kayak if you were, if you were light as a feather. 
don't think I'd be able to. I'd be getting grounded every five foot. Getting a bit breezy when that wind blows up. And that means chill factor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wind chill factor minus zero. Wind chill factor minus three below, was it? Name that song. Answers on a postcard. Oh, no, don't do that. We don't do it anymore. Put it in the comments section down below. Well, we are coming up to Christmas, so... Let's have some holly and berries, should we? Yeah, it's very seasonal. Can't find any mistletoe, otherwise I'd give Ali a kiss. Oh, got one anyway. Yes. Oh, a little bit muddy here. Watch you don't go A over T. More of that holly, complete with berries. Yeah. Road at the next bridge. Here we are. Towards the end of this branch. Oh, ouch. Tractor's just catching his whatever on the road. Yeah, his bucket. There it is. Okay. The abandoned canal there and this road bridge is Waterloo Bridge. No longer navigable or even get under it. There's the post box. And we can turn round now and go back. So yeah, that's where the water properly ends. As you see, there's a bit of a gap between this side, where it's about two foot deeper, not deeper. He gets on the lookout, thinks he sees something, thinks he sees something over there, and over there, and over there. And over there, and over there. Is it a squirrel, Zeke? No. Is he going to take the pond? Oh, no. Are you having a drink? I'm having a drink. Come on, then. Let's go. Let's go. Right, we're all ready to leave from Wixall Marina, we're just in front of. And head up back up the Priest Branch after that walk. And then back onto the Langothlin. So, should we get going? Yeah, I think so. You can see it there. It has been raining, but a bit of blue skies appeared. But yeah, I'm sure we're going to see some rain on the way. Take it away, onwards and upwards. Yeah, and I won't be showing you all of what we've come past on the way up because it's pretty much the same, but in reverse, isn't it? But if there's anything different, I'll try and take a little shot of it get a little clip but yeah you can see it's pretty narrow i'll just give you a quick over the top look no that wasn't from me drone that was from me extending my arm yeah i've got one of those drones and i use it now and again but how many cameras can i operate at one time right onwards and upwards Back to the beginning of the Priest Branch and onto the Langothlin. Yep, there's the sign. And then we're going to head up the main Langothlin Canal. Let's just give you a quick tootle of round here. Right, well, it's pretty straight from here, as you can see. Absolute straight as a die.
Yep, and down there is the nature reserve. As you can see, a fantastic area over which they can have a good look. But yeah, this is a long section, isn't it? So is it England on that side and Wales? I've just seen the sign back there on the right saying if you go that way it's Cruisey Cymru which means welcome to Wales I figure so yeah it's started to rain we're just going to progress another mile or so and then pull up and stoke the fire up maybe even have a sh warm shower get a cup of coffee or tea on May even switch the TV on. Depending on the power situation, which should be pretty good after this cruising. Not much from the solar though. Well, the wind's starting to blow up a little bit now. You can probably hear that on the mic. Just coming up to the next bridge. Then we'll have a look on the other side, see what it's like, whether there's a decent phone signal or internet signal and then decide whether to moor up or not. Let's have a look, shall we? Sun's still trying to break through over there, even though it's on its way down in probably half an hour. On the other side, a little bit cloudy. Straight ahead. Yeah, clouds and a bit of blue sky. Yes, and it wasn't long before we pulled up here on the right in Betty's Fields. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog all the way from Black Oak Bridge to Betty's Field with a little diversion on the Prees Branch. If you did, click the like button. If you'd like to subscribe, click the subscribe button. If you'd like to know when the next one's out, click the bell. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.